Ta-da! Welcome to Sungji. Welcome. We're going to take you on a quick trip on what's happening with Subi and some interesting tips for anyone that's coming to Africa or Uganda to set up a business. Stay tuned. Our lives are a living example of the real situation of what happens when you're trying to um, be in a new country and set up a new uh, business and build a relationship. I've been away from the country for the last three months, not because I've wanted to be, but because of some visa situations that created even more problems for the business and for our situation. In that time, unfortunately, Medina had to have an operation. She was in hospital for two weeks. She had surgery and she wasn't able to work for a month. So that really made things difficult, running the business. Hopefully now we can get back to business as usual and keep giving you content and showing you what's going on. As we told you that we're back to business, so this time we've decided to move to another place. Um, right now we are at Uganda Road. We are at Uganda Road and I'm sure you're asking yourself why we're moving. The first reason is if we're looking for our customers. The, the rents downtown are very high and that doesn't necessarily mean we're encountering our our target customer our target customers may be a little bit more affluent than the customers that we see regularly downtown we do see affluent customers but for the most part we see um, customers who may find it a little bit of a struggle to pay for our shoes so we took the last couple of days to travel around Kampala and look at some different um, places where we may be able to rent. My suggestion was to check, uh, to check on Kabalagala, Munyonyo and Muyenga. What are your expectations? Like when we shift, do you have any expectations or anything? So I have income coming from my online activities, my online business from the UK. So it's, it's not like we're relying on Subi to make us all the money to survive. But what we, would, what we want is for Subi to at least not be costing us um, money so that we can build it for the long term. We see this as a long term project, a brand that we can grow, an African brand, and we're excited about the future. We get the opportunity to boost our brand and be known in an affluent area. And then we can continue to work on our videos, on our marketing and building our brand and I think it's not going to take many sales to, to, get rent. to get rent and become profitable in this new place. Mm. Uh, the process, I think that we may find our customers, our potential customers. Why didn't, why didn't we find places to rent on, yeah, no, like, if you want a new place in the UK, I'll just look on the internet. So, like, why are we going to all of these places? Oh, here in Uganda, it's different, by the way. It's different. You remember last time we searched online and we got scammed? Mm. Remember? <laughs> we got scammed. So in here, like here, you search like a place online and you see, they tell you this is the amount and to reach, you look for the owner. It's very, very hard to get the owner, the owner of the building. You end up getting blockers and blockers, sometimes they end up stealing you like how we did it. So we don't want to repeat that mistake again. Mm. So we had to move ourselves to look for places. Also, um, most of the places are not even online. They're just done with word of mouth or they're just, the deals are done in person on the street. So you have to go in person and look. You ask around, you ask people around where the, in fact, me, I, we, like, I told you to, f like, to focus on the new buildings because mm. nowadays it's hard to find, it's hard to find an old building when it's vacant. Yeah, anytime I've made a decision, anytime we go anywhere and we're looking for business to rent somewhere, I'm gonna take my camera and I'm gonna record because um, if we'd done that the last time when we got scammed, at least we'd have a record of that person. That person, it would be a deterrent for somebody to decide they wanted to, to, to cheat us because you know we're recording their face. 
And, you know, so it's sort of like you turn up and you say, oh, no, I'm just recording just to make sure, just so that I can remember what's going on. In fact, do you know that the Pacific went, it's called Bazega? I don't, I, I just know, like, I've been hearing Monyonyo, Monyonyo is a nice place, there's rich people there, etc. cetera. So, uh, I, you know, we drove around and at first it didn't look all that impressive. But as the more we drove around, we started to see there were some nice things KFC. there. Yeah, they got a KFC, they got, you know, um, the place is nice, but nice people driving nice cars. The view. There's resorts. It's near the it's near the lake. In fact, our our <coughs> shop, our shop is going to be near to Speak Resort because where you are, you can see the Speak Resort lake. Yeah. The view. Well, we hope our shop. So we found a place that is a new construction, and there was only a few vendors in there. It's going to be um a multi a multi function space. So there's a lounge. And there's a bunch of retail shops. There's also a restaurant there. Um, so um, it's in a nice area. It's away. It's away from any dusty road, <laughs> and um, the rent is not too expensive. So with the with the cost of the rent uh, being low, it's a risk that we think we're going to take. We are currently doing a, our due diligence on the ownership. So these guys want us to pay. But the process for us is um, to understand who the owners are and get a copy of their ID, just as we will give them a copy of our ID before we sign any agreement. So we're in the process of figuring that out. We have someone working on that for us. Um, so, you know, make sure we don't get scammed. So it's not guaranteed yet, but we hope this place is going to work for us moving into January 2024. This time, <laughs> this time we're too careful. Yeah. <laughs> not being scammed like last time. <laughs> Man, like losing money for no reason, it's not, it's, it's not the one. Yeah, I forgot about the best part of our search. Our search? Yes, the best part of our search. We stopped at the place that does grilled meat. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really, you're going to tell them about that, babe? All I know is <laughs> those grilled meats, those is grilled beef. There's various vendors that in the evenings you can see around town. And man. The meat is nice. Eh? The meat's good. I could do it some more pepper. I could do some more spice on there. Oh, you 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 got the video on it, right? Yeah. Mm, I see now. <laughs> yeah. So, um, when you come to Uganda, you got to explore. You got to try things. What's it called? What's the name of it? Muchomo. 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 Whatever Muchomo is. <laughs> it's very it's nice. Very nice. So if you're coming to Uganda, but people are scared of eating things on the road. You know that. Yeah, me too. But you got to try. <laughs>